A small project, it creates excitement and it creates interest and that can build upon itself. Something to engage the surrounding community and get them thinking about what the future can be. Green Homes program is really looking at how can we manage stormwater at the level of a row house. Row homes, you know, are not very large. They might have a, a footprint of about 2,000 square feet. So we're looking to install things like rain barrels, rain gardens, and flow through planters to pick up some roof runoff into some sort of stormwater management practice that we can install and work with communities to make sure that everyone on the block can really make a difference and improve the stream in their local watershed. Everybody's helping. People that I've never seen before are coming around and saying, how can I get involved? We're in the Cobbs Creek watershed uh, right here in West Philadelphia. It covers Montgomery County as well as Philadelphia. Also goes into Delaware County, so it's a pretty big watershed. All of those sewers out there stop up. So when we have a real bad rain, the streets are flooded. That is a challenge. We have heavy rainfall. I went to the meeting and they was explaining everything to us about the creek and how the runoff is, and the sewage backup, and this here project would help eliminate some of the problems that we're having. This comes from? Cobbs Creek. This came from Cobbs Creek last weekend. This is what happens when it rains. What you're going to be doing is going to be helping a lot. I thought it would be very good for us to participate in this project. Cobbs Creek is a combined sewer shed, so what that means is that rainwater, as well as sanitary flows from homes and businesses, from sinks, washing machines, that mixes with rainwater or stormwater runoff, and it goes into one pipe, whatever can make it to the treatment plant overflows into the creek. Your trash and sediment or sand and gravel that's on the street carried by that stormwater, that all finds its way to the creek. So through green stormwater infrastructure, we hope to mitigate some of those issues by capturing that stormwater. This house had a nice flower bed already, so we were just enhancing it and changed its function to be able to do more. Basically, this is a rain garden, and we're gonna convey water from that downspout here to this garden. And the idea is we have about six inches of storage volume. It's a little ponded area. We get about 50 gallons off of this front porch rooftop that will slowly soak into the ground so that it does not go into the stormwater system. And these plants can help filter it a little bit. And as time goes by, they're going to get deeper and deeper roots and be able to do more filtration. So this worked great, but a planter box could have worked here. Or a rain barrel would work good too. And it's a toolbox. What's the best tool for your house? The idea is to get the water from the downspout to just slow down. This water used to go into the city sewer system and in really heavy rainstorms it would overflow into the creek. So what we did here this morning, we removed the lower section of downspout and we put in this water saver. It makes most of the water now flow into this box. In the bottom, we put in gravel and good soil, sand, and all these plants, which are native species, which will drink up a lot of water. And then slowly, the water will trickle out the bottom. It's also designed so that water can flow out here if it starts to rain really hard. So we're not gonna cause flooding because there's two provisions for the water to get out of it. So now, the water from the downspout, it'll live in this planter, it'll feed these plants, and that's pretty much the idea. It's letting nature work for you. Five years ago, nobody knew what this stuff was. When we started our rain barrel program, you know, first people are a little skeptical, and then we can't keep up with the demand. People get it. And as people drive by, or as neighbors come by, or as family visit, they're asking, wow, what is that rain garden, or what's that? box that you have with the, the vegetation up front, and they become sort of our ambassadors. We thought it was a really an excellent program 
We came back to the neighborhood. We got some people together. We had meetings and so forth and so on to try to get the thing off the ground. And I explained to them how much water comes on their roof. And I look at the water, how it's backed up in the street. We can be a part of eliminating that. Just a little simple thing as a rain barrel. They see my home and I show them how they can use that water. They loved it. And now more people want it. Maybe one property picking up 55 gallons doesn't make such a big difference when you have a rainstorm. But if you get everyone on a block, if you had 60 properties and each had a rain barrel installed, you're picking up 3,000 gallons of stormwater. If you had 100 blocks and the majority of those homes had some sort of stormwater management practice, that will take 1 million gallons of stormwater out of our sewer system. So a homeowner by themselves may feel that they cannot make a difference, but a community together can make a huge difference in how we manage stormwater. Projects like this literally bring sustainability home. You start to see it at your house, in your neighborhood, and it's real. It's not this big concept that you can't really figure out what value it brings to you. You can see it, and it's starting to transform neighborhoods. really looking to involve the community in as much of this as we possibly can. We don't just want to come in and rip up your pavement and make it porous. We want to come in and say, what do you need? What do you want? How can we make some changes that you would like? And then, by the way, let me tell you about this stormwater thing and let's see if we can get you on board um, and interested as much as we are in the whole stormwater issue and thinking about our neighborhood as part of a, of a watershed. There are very valid concerns that come from community members. Individuals who've had flooding on their property, it's very understandable that they would want the water to get away from their, their property as fast as possible. And the entire design of these is to keep that water on site. So there was a very specific process of explaining that this does not mean that there'll be more water in their basement or the sidewalk will be damaged for more pests in the neighborhood that things could actually improve. It's important to involve the community because ultimately this is a public space. People congregate, people walk through. And I'm actually here a lot because I volunteer here and I take care of a lot of the plants and the trees here and I have for a long time. So people know me and will talk with me and I'm able to, to educate them in, in, the, in the way that I've been educated about stormwater management. These green solutions to solving the stormwater problem don't just solve stormwater. They create parks, they create shade, they create beauty. It makes me feel happy to come home and see plants and your neighborhood clean. People still care about their communities and what it looks like. It has to be about collaborations, it has to be about partnership, it has to be about aligning investments. We work very, very closely with the state, the federal government, community groups, and nonprofits. Hi there, how are you? It's about leveraging resources and how we manage land, how we sustain the city of Philadelphia economically and ecologically into the future. This is a quintessential community enterprise. It's really all about the culture, vision, capacity to stick with a long-range, multi-administration, multi-generational program that has a vision for what a city can be.